Kyle welcoming you all for the past week character introduction. As I said in the previous video, limit the character description to certain levels, especially when it comes to the physical appearance. Choose your adjectives appropriate to the character. Think about character's interest. When it comes to character's interest, think in this way. If you are right, Monique is obsessed with Jack Sparrow and K-pop, is more of a catered character description than simply a teen girl with blonde hair and brown eyes. Then there comes choose description details, which means you are supposed to include imagery. Here you can say if your character has freckles, unique mannerisms, and humor sense, etc. Present your character with a memorable trait. Giving characters memorable traits or mannerisms help you create distinct, instantly memorable characters. Be your character can be good or bad, but show it your writing. Try to give your character a backstory. especially when it comes to a new character ensure it is relevant to the character's eventual story arc since no one wants an input dump yes introduce your character through action whether it is a main character or minor character or one of the bad guys watching your character undergo a daily task or routine is a great way to give the reader a sense of who they are and how they interact with what around them The most important point is introduce the main character as soon as possible. The sooner you finish setting, start introduce your character. By working through the character description, you will learn how to introduce your protagonist in a powerful way. Genre and tone will become clearer and the reader will be able to more easily emotionally connect with the protagonist and therefore the story. I hope you got a better ideas on character introduction and descriptions too. With that note, let me take leave. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. Let me catch you all with my next video soon.